We're here today in Southwest Virginia. It's mid-March and I've just completed structural pruning on a 10-year-old heritage oak, Quercus McDanieli cultivar Clemens. This is a hybrid between English oak, Quercus rober, and burr oak, Quercus macrocarpa. The goal here today was to improve the structure of the tree, focusing on subordinating and spacing temporary scaffold branches, as well as controlling co-dominant leaders. You can see the dose of the pruning. It was fairly aggressive. I would say that I've taken 20 to 25% of the potential leaf area out of the tree, but it's a very high vitality tree and has a very good bud set. So I thought that this dose would, was appropriate. The vast majority of my pruning cuts have been heading cuts and reduction cuts, hardly any branch removal cuts. And you can notice that almost every scaffold branch and leader has received one or more pruning cuts. In pruning this tree, I have narrowed the crown and what this will do is slow the growth rate of the scaffold branches and allow the terminal leader to maintain dominance, but also to maintain favorable branch aspect ratios on these temporary scaffold branches because they will all be eventually removed from the tree. The tree right now is about 14 to 16 feet tall. It will probably have a permanent canopy height of around 8 to 10 feet. So we want to make sure that we keep these lower scaffold branches subordinated and with a appropriate branch aspect ratio, less than one half of the leader and preferably less than one third. That way they form strong collars and strong branch protection zones so that when they are eventually removed, they will have good compartmentalization internally and good wound closure and sealing externally. We'll continue to monitor this tree in the coming years, post more videos about how it has responded to this pruning. We may see some sprouting, typically not a problem with oaks, but that'll give us some good feedback on whether or not the pruning dose and the intensity of the pruning was appropriate for the tree.